Okay, now, how, how many of you know that exercise relieves stress? Okay, did you know that elite and professional athletes are among the most stressed out people on the planet? <laughs> yeah, and they exercise for a living. Back in the 1990s, Yale University conducted an experiment to show that exercise relieves stress. So they brought together a group of actors, which they divided into two groups, so an angry group and a calm group. The angry group was told to imagine, you know, think of things that really made them mad and upset and to stay mad and upset. The calm group was told to, you know, think of things that make you happy and stay calm and happy. Then they took their vital statistics. Then they ran them through a bunch of light exercises, so such as running up and down the stairs. And then they took their vital statistics again. After exercise, the vital statistics of the angry group either stayed at the same bad level that they were at, or they actually got worse. With the calm group, their vital statistics actually improved. So the conclusion was that you actually already have to be in a good frame of mind in order to benefit from exercise. So it's actually a myth that exercise relieves stress. And here's why. You've got all this cortisol and adrenaline in your body. Well, excess adrenaline sits in your muscles, your ligaments, and your tendons. So what does that mean to you? It stiffens them up and makes you more susceptible to injury and pain. Now, it also does damage to your blood vessels and your arteries. What does that mean to you? It makes you more susceptible to heart attacks and strokes. So did you know that 50% of all heart attacks, those people had no history of high cholesterol and clogged arteries. Excess cortisol makes your organ systems misbehave and malfunction. So they will slow down or shut down your digestive system and your reproductive system. Know any couples who are having trouble conceiving? Yeah. And it also sends you energy during stressful times in the form of extra sugar. Now, if you're not using that up, and it makes you susceptible to weight gain. Know of people who've had colds and flus and it just never seems to go away? Chronic stress suppresses the immune system, but it can also make it hyperactive, which is the reason why we have autoimmune diseases too. But there's more. Every cell in our body makes proteins. They're like worker bees in our body. So for instance, muscle cells make muscle protein. Remember those peptides? Peptides are chemical messengers from the neural networks of the brain, and they carry orders from the neural networks to the cell's DNA to make more protein. But if those neural networks are the same ones that were created by your stressed out thoughts, feelings, and actions, then they actually have a adverse direct effect on your DNA. They cause them to malfunction. So what does this mean to you? They start making inferior proteins. And that's why skin sags, muscles get flabby, hair thins, bones get brittle, and on and on and on.